So to monitor ECG, we need to plug in our ECG trunk cable into the left side of the device. From there, we need to take our leads, plug those in to our SimCube 5. Okay, so once we've connected our leads correctly, Okay, so right now you can see we have a stable 70 beats per minute ECG waveform. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to monitor SpO2. Make sure we have our SpO2 connector. Well, I've gone ahead and connected the SpO2 monitor to myself. And here you can see my SpO2 is coming in at 98%. 86 beats per minute. So in this video I'm going to show you how to connect the non-invasive blood pressure cuff to the SimCube 5. And one of the things you have to realize is there's a lot of different connectors that are available in the kit. This is not all of them but these are some of them and you have to make sure you know what connector is needed for your particular device. So for our Space Labs device, we need to set this connector up. Okay, so we're gonna connect this part to the tester. Next, we're gonna take our cable that runs from the device, from the Space Labs cube. We're gonna put it in this side. sure that's connected and then next we want to take the cuff and connect it to this side so once we've done that we want to make sure the cuff slides into this jacket okay so now everything's set up now whenever we're ready to run our non-invasive blood pressure measurement from the device uh, we want to make sure we've set this up correctly here and chosen the NIBP measurements that we're looking for. We're going to leave it at adult 120 over 80 right now.